Most people are looking for, how can I handle philanthropy? Philanthropy amongst the homeless community or the impoverished community really is about donating the tease of transformation. What you can really do to personally help someone in struggle is based on these T's, and they're pretty straightforward. With regard to time, if you involve yourself, it takes time to listen and to talk. It takes time to learn a confidential and private life story, and it takes you all the control you need to have not to gossip, which erodes trust. In the area of talent, what you're doing is giving a service. Maybe it means you're utilizing your skills. You might have skills that you can lend to individuals that they can learn, and a homeless person has some skills that they need to literally use to earn. In the area of treasure, we're really talking about the simplest thing for a homeless person is to give them a gift card for food, for gas, for transportation, for entertainment, or just simply some cash so that they can purchase what they need in that moment of time. When it comes to tenting, we're really talking about how a homeless person needs a place to be during the day and night to be productive. Sometimes it can be a library card, sometimes it can be a work one station as some come, some different countrysides and different states have. But if you have an extra office or if you have a church that gives them a place to sit, it allows them to get out of the elements and it allows them to focus on getting a job. The tools that many homeless people need is usually a mailbox that they can receive information into and sometimes then something simple like a pocket knife with scissors, a multi-tool type of a tool or an, a AA powered high lumens flashlight, an umbrella and some wheels for carrying their things. In the area of telecommunications, all homeless people need a telephone of some kind, and usually a $50 phone will do it just fine. Sometimes we can give them a borrowable one for internet where you can just allow them to use Wi-Fi that's protected and safe so they're not always being hacked on their phone or their little laptop computers, so are their job hunts. Now, in the area of technology, a portable iPad, a refurbished or new small laptop computer, or a camera, a phone without service, and some thumb drives can often be helpful to people who are homeless. In the area of transportation, this is one of the biggest areas that's so important that everyone needs a way to get to and from their appointments, get to and from job interviews, get to and from jobs, and openly that can be as simple as a basket bicycle that you might have extra in the garage, or bus passes that help in a community that really has good transportation, or possibly an Uber gift card where they can just pick up the phone and call someone to come get them and get them where they need to go on time. If you really want to give some extra coin or put together a team of people to collect some funds to really do something that could really help someone, getting a person who's elderly a used or new moped that is easy to jump start or easy to start with just a flip of a switch can be really helpful. A scooter that's very small and only 50 cs doesn't require any extra licensing usually and that could be another marvelous way to help people. A car, of course, is something that sometimes can be donated by the elderly who are literally timing out on driving around the community or people who are about to get a new vehicle and they've already paid for theirs in full and feel like it's a good thing to do. Donating vehicles is also something that very large conglomerate-oriented car companies can do, but it usually takes some proof of a non-for-profit. It also takes a little savvy salesperson to really explain what this will do for them in profit and benefiting them in their marketing or promotion or publicity programs for their company. Now these are the T's of transformation. Every homeless person needs these teas, along with other areas that we might talk about later. But when we're trying to put forward a presentation, covering this simple slide usually helps people to get how they can be helpful in the moment to a homeless person.